Okay, welcome to um, the Stevlog for an application I'm creating for a game called Elite Dangerous. This uh, application uh, reads the logs and displays them in a journal reader, but has also other useful functions. This is the first time I'm recording for this channel, but I already recorded other uh, devlogs about this application on, on another channel. So I will um, sort of start over and show the main features. Uh, as I said, this application read journals files that are generated by this game called uh, Elite Dangerous. And these journal files are um, written in a JSON format, so it's easy to convert them into useful information. In this case, this um, journal reader reads the information in real time. For example, I'm logging into the session and you will see here new entries are updating this feature was possible also thanks to the latest update of Godot engine because before it wasn't able to read in shared mode but now it does so pretty cool we can update in real time anyways one of the features i've worked the most on is this it's a 3D representation of the fictional galaxy that we have also here in game. See, even if I would say this representation is way better than mine. and generates procedurally 400 billion star systems pretty impressive anyways um this is based on uh, an image that i have transformed into black and white and then based on that on a height map that you can see here Ah, uh, here. So, here are the particles and these are the meshes that I have extracted from the image and converted into something usable by the particle system in Godot that can generate the particle based on mesh or a node. So that's how I generated that. And apart from that, this view does allow me to uh, see and search for all the systems I've visited so far. Here you can see this uh, cloud of stars. Uh, each one is a sphere, and in this case, this view represent um, have bigger stars uh, or spheres based on the number of visits. In this case, the system allows was visited 90 times, and also we have different colors. For example, this one, and I've colored based on the primary economy. In this case, refinery is red. And in this case, high tech is blue. Again, refinery red. Agriculture is green. And the rest is left with this um, gray color. There are other views like this mining view. That in this case highlights with a lighter color the systems that have rings. And the bigger the sphere is. Sorry, this is, and the more the number of rings it has. So I 
haven't found more than 12 rings in this case. And as you can see here, there are other systems with a white color. And in this case, you see more information here. It's where I did uh, launched Prospector, so it's a specific event for uh, miners. They do probably know for those who play Elite Dangerous and know what mining consists of. And not only that, I have extracted some uh, useful information based on the ring it was visited. In this case, it's Planet 5, A ring and B ring. And as you can see here, I've prospected a lot and I have found a lot of platinum. Instead, on this other ring, there is no platinum. There are other materials. And their respective average percentage found on each asteroid that was prospected. Um, the cool thing about this um, galaxy view and this um, way I'm generating the, the views is that I can easily create a number of views based on um, sort of a query system. For example, uh, where is it? So let's go into the mining view, for example. I create this uh, configuration file that it's that's that is an array of dictionaries that is telling the um, the function where to look for a certain data. For example, rings amount, and then it tells, okay, you find the number of rings, you scale the the star or the sphere based on this value. So the minimum amount of rings is zero, the maximum is 15. If you find zero, is size is 0 0.5, and if you have 15, you have four. And everything in between, just um, do um, some sort of linear interpolation. And so the size grows as, as the number of rings grows. If it goes beyond 15 or below zero, even if <laughs> it's impossible, the scale won't change. It will remain the minimum or the maximum. Also the same address, the same uh, data, rings amount, also change the color. So from minimum of one, if I had zero, it doesn't count, and a maximum of 15, it changes the color to this minimum value and then interpolates to this maximum value. Um, and so on and so forth. More information allow, for example, to choose a specific color for a specific value. So if we, if we find um, a system that is ringed and has values, sorry, that it's not ringed because the value is zero, then you give this color. If it's prospected, then you have, and it's true, you have this other color that is white. And you can create several combination of this to create a specific view. So in the future I will mm, create a UI to build, um, to easily build a custom view and probably store those views into some sort of sub-menu here because these buttons are just a placeholder for now. So these um, galaxy view should allow you to mm, visually analyze in a 3D space what you have done or where eventually you, uh, for example, this mining view is useful for those who want to find the, the best system for this activity. For example, laser miners will find this value is interesting. So, you can visit other systems, do prospecting on, for example, this system that have 12 rings. So you know there are many planets and most likely you will find uh, a metal uh, rich or a metal asteroid ring. So you're there, you do your prospecting, you will start seeing these values and it's easy to find out where you have been prospecting and what you found. And the journals allow you to extract a lot of information and I will probably 
create um, more features to allow you to query inside the database without having to touch SQLite. That is the way I store information into, uh, I mean, to be used for this game. Um, these tools are. <laughs> So other features that I have uh, created is this search bars. It, it works only for the system you have visited, but I'm also working on extracting data from EDSM. Yesterday I was uh, doing some tests and I had a few problems because I was trying to extract in a cube of 200 light years uh, all around a specific sector, sector, sorry but I had this problem as you can see certain sectors were uh, recorded only partially because it seems that uh, somehow it's repeating the stars and so I was trying to add a star system with the same ID because as I said I'm storing this information in a table and each star system has an ID and it has to be unique for obvious reasons. Anyways, in the future I will uh, allow the users to download information from EDSM, that is a great service that um, allow you to query their uh, database that have um, millions of star systems. And this is another great service that other commanders, other users of, of this game have created that allow to store and update information about each system that has been visited by any commander during the uh, since since the game launched in 2014 so it's it's a great um source of information and it's obviously uh, a great idea i think to have the possibility to download every system you have around for example the bubble that is the inhabited system of um or the greatest inhabited system in the galaxy in the elite dangerous game um what else oh yeah you have also this other kind of view that is some sort of table view in this case we have the history of all the jumps i made since i started the game i started here in draw me and uh, you can see it also started drawing these uh, lines that are the jumps i made during the history of the game and the lighter color are the last 20 jumps i made so it's easier to identify where you've been lately. I will probably create um, another UI to allow you to create your custom views. For example, for each system, it will be cool to have a sort of a list of events, maybe filter by type, so you know what you did on every system. Imagine, for example, uh, you want to know what was your main activity in this system, Melii. And um, maybe you've been bounty hunting here, so you will see many bounty hunting events, for example. That might be an idea. Um, what else? Uh, do you have this? Um, not completely accurate uh, 3D representation made with uh, particles, but you also have this 2D view that is uh, it's a grid, and it was created by another player, as you can see here, and uh, it's very useful because it divides the galaxy in sectors, so you uh, may want to know where you have been. And for example, if I highlight my chance, I can see that I have been traveling to another sector that is the Sanguinius Rim, even if you don't see the name here, but that's that's the in-game name of this region. 
So for explorers, also there will be useful um, features. For example, one very and pretty cool thing is that you have an event called screenshot. There you go. Um, there you are. So these events tell me where you have taken the screenshot, the path for, to the image, and the size, and also the system where you have been taking that. If it, there is a specific body, you will also see that. And if it was taken on the surface of the planet, you also have lighted it and launched it. And so it's really easy to, to, to know where. So imagine having that into this view. You can have sort of a map. Sort of a map of uh, of pictures or uh, geotag pictures, and it will be cool. You know, like click on the system and you see the pictures maybe here that you have taken over there, and maybe I can create a specific view for uh, those like screenshots and exploration to see uh, things. Uh, I mean to yeah to see uh, literally what you have been visiting during your journeys um yeah minor things there is log system that allows you to know what uh, the application is doing and I use those for debugging so if there is some error I can see here so there is still a lot to do and this application will be free and will be available um, on GitHub as soon as I have um, a little bit more features than the ones I have right now. And because uh, as of now it's not possible to customize the views and EDSM data is not um, as you can see, still working 100%. I have to improve performance because once I download all the EDSM star systems, I might start uh, getting some performance problems. I have already created this um, representation of the galaxy that have a few hundred thousand um, dots, particles, on screen every time except when you zoom in you zoom in too far beyond a certain zoom level it just turns off uh, another performance uh, improvement that i made is that if you stop mm, giving input to the screen like moving the view or clicking on buttons it will just freeze the view as it's uh, as if it was a screenshot so um the cpu usage drops significantly as you can see it's very low GPU usage uh, so you can still play the game without worrying too much about performance without uh, having to worry about turning off the application And uh, yeah, that's it for this um, uh, episode of this devlog. I might go into uh, more good old stuff, more um, development um, things. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but I might explain a little bit how I do this for other do developers that are interested in how I do things with the code, how the, the project is organized and, and all these things more related to game dev other than the features of this tool itself. Once the tool is ready to be used by someone, even if it's an alpha version, I will probably create a video onto the other channel that I have that it's more related to the game itself and, and gaming in general 
and so he, there I will probably uh, give instructions or yeah create how to videos or tutorial videos on how to use this uh, this tool I'm creating for the game I really hope people will enjoy it and I also really hope that Elite Dangerous will continue to, to exist throughout the years because those who follow the game know that there have been major problems with the game and the player base is kind of lower than it should be. But I have faith in the developers of Elite Dangerous so I think the game will rise again and be popular again for years to come. Alright, that's it. If you like what you're seeing, please uh, subscribe, like the video, and do everything to make me rich and famous. Thank you. Bye-bye.